all, and welcome back to Tangents on Cracked Spines. Today is a mini episode. There's a lot going on that I can be reading uh, random poems about or short stories. It's President's Day here in the U.S., and we have uh, Mardi Gras and Fat Tuesday, or Fat Tuesday, whatever you want to call it. The beginning of Lent is Wednesday, so I've got a, and it's still Black History Month. Believe it or not, it's harder to find something like specifically a about Lincoln or um, Washington, which that's what President's Day was based off of, rather than celebrating uh, President Lincoln's birthday and President Washington's birthday separately, they just clumped them all into one thing. Um, There's a bunch for other presidents, but in the public domain that I could find in the like half hour I gave myself to research, (laughs) There wasn't a whole lot. So I'm going more general patriotic. So let's see. We have I Hear America Singing by Walt Whitman. I hear America singing, the varied carols I hear, those of mechanics, each one singing as it should be blithe and strong, the carpenter singing his and he measures his plank or beam, the mason singing his as he makes ready for work or leaves off work. The boatman singing what belongs to him in his boat. The deckhand singing on the steamboat deck. The shoemaker singing as he sits on his bench. The hatter singing as he stands. The woodcutter's song, the plowboy's on his way in the morning or at noon in her mission or at sundown. The delicious singing of the mother or the young wife at work or of the girl sewing or washing. Each singing what belongs to him or her and to none else, the day what belongs to the day. At night, the party of young fellows, robust, friendly, singing with open mouths their strong, melodious song. I should also throw out there that if my audio sounds different, the Anchor app decided that it didn't like my phone today, so I'm back on my headset. To use this headset to for customer service work, and I at least remembered not to mute it today. I also have because of Lent. There's one called Easter by Emily Pauline Johnson. Lent gathers up her cloak of somber shading in her reluctant hands. Her beauty heightens, fairest in its fading as pensively as she stands, awaiting Easter's benediction falling like silver stars at night, before she can obey the summons calling her to her upward flight, awaiting Easter's wings that she must borrow ere she can hope to fly, those glorious wings that we shall see tomorrow against the far blue sky. Has not the purple of her vesture's lining brought calm and rest to all? Has her dark robe had naught of golden shining, been naught but pleasure's pall? Who knows? Perhaps when to the world returning in youth's like joyousness, we'll wear some rarer jewels we found burning in Lent's black bordered dress. So hand in hand with fitful mark she lingers to beg the crowning grace of lifting with her pure and holy fingers the veil from April's face. Sweet rosy April, laughing, sighing, waiting until the gateway swings, and she and Lent can kiss between the grating of Easter's tissue wings. To brief the bliss, the parting comes with sorrow. Goodbye, dear Lent, goodbye. We'll watch your fading wings outline tomorrow against the far blue sky. Interesting. And for those of you who don't know what Lent is, um, it's starts on Ash Wednesday and originally it was you gave up something for 40 days uh, up until from Ash Wednesday until Easter to you know 
emulate the suffering of Jesus during his 40 days of torment in the desert. Um, but a lot of people nowadays will, rather than giving something up, will do something to make themselves actively try to be a better person during those 40 days. Um, and this one I left to the end because I might need to take it out because it's by Langston Hughes, but I really liked it and I'm not making any money off of this. So fingers crossed they let me keep it on if somebody flags it because it is still Black History Month as well but also I think this is a great patriotic song uh poem song he did all of it <laughs> let America be America again by Langston Hughes let America be America again let it be the dream it used to be let it be the pioneer on the plane seeking a home where he himself is free America never was America let America be the dream the dreamers dreamed. Let it be that great, strong land of love where never kings connive nor tyrants scheme, nor any man be crushed by one above. It was never America to me. Oh, let my hand be a land where liberty is crowned with no false patriotic wealth, but opportunity is real and life is free. Equality is in the air we breathe. There's never been equality for me, nor freedom in this homeland of the free. Say, who are you that mumbles in the dark? And who are you that draws your veil across the stars? I am the poor white pulled and pushed apart. I am the Negro bearing slavery scars. I am the red man driven from the land. I am the immigrant clutching the hope I seek and finding only the same old stupid plan of dog eat dog of mighty crush the weak. I am the young man full of strength and hope Tangled in that ancient endless chain of profit, power, gain, of grab the land, of grab the gold, of grab the ways of satisfying need, of work the men, of take the pay, of owning everything for one's own greed. I am the farmer, bondsman to the soil. I am the worker sold to the machine. I am the Negro, servant to you all. I am the people, humble, hungry, me, hungry yet today, despite the dream, beaten yet today, O oh pioneers. I am the man who never got ahead, the poorest worker bartered through the years. Yet I'm the one who dreamt our basic dream in the old world while still a serf of king, who dreamt a dream so strong, so brave, so true, that even yet it's mighty daring thing. And every brick and stone and every furrow turn that's made America the land it has become. Oh, I'm the man who sailed those early seas in search of what I meant to be my home. For I'm the one who left dark Ireland's shore and Poland's plain and England's grassy lay. And torn from black Africa's strand I came to build a homeland of the free. The free? Who said the free? Not me. Surely not me? The millions on relief today? The millions shot down when we strike? The millions who have nothing of our pay? For all the dreams we've dreamed and all the songs we've sung and all the hopes we've held and all the flags we've hung. hung. The millions who have nothing for our pay except the dream that's almost dead today. Oh, let America be America again. The land that never has been yet and yet must be the land where every man is. The land that's mine, the poor man's, Indians, Negroes, me, who made America, whose sweat and blood, whose faith and pain, whose hand at the foundry, whose plow in the rain, must bring back our mighty dream again. Sure, call me an ugly name you choose. The steel of freedom does not stain. From those who live like leeches on the people's lives, we must take back our land again, America. Oh yes, I say it plain. America never was America to me, and yet I swear this oath, America will be. Out of the rack and ruin of our gangster death, the rape and rot of graft and stealth and lies, we the people must redeem. The land, the mines, the plants, the rivers, the mountains, and the endless plain. All, all the stretch of these great green states, and make America again. 
So, yeah. He's very moving, and I wanted to put that in there. And that wraps up today's mini episode of mostly public domain uh, poems. I can't wait till I get to March 13th. Friday! Mathematical and food. Thank you again for listening. Uh, If you want to support this podcast, please go ahead and like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Um, I'm not putting uh, support on this particular episode, but thank you. And it's a good time to remember what America was built on and what we should be striving for going forward, what the American dream has been from the get-go, and what the reality has been. Thank you all, and I'll record again tomorrow.